So to create our blog detail page or actually the post page, the first thing which we will have to do is create our page or you know, we will have to create the route. So why don't we look at how we can create the route which has the convention of my URL pattern. So my blog post, if you look at any of the article, has a convention just read content articles and then the slug this piece of you know url pattern i will want to retain because otherwise i will lose out on seo and i will have a lot of 404s so let's see how we can do that i'll go into my editor and inside pages we'll have just read content articles and then we can name the parameter as slug and then .js that's the file name okay so once this is done we need to check whether we are able to get anything out of it or not so let's create the component okay so this is our content for the post page and now let's see if we are able to get that i think in my database locally i don't have this article so why don't we copy anything which is a little old i think this particular thing will be present so I'll just copy this link and if i go to that url i see hello post i think this is working all right now how do we get the data or you know we can say that how do we generate all those post urls which is there in my database so i'll just show you again so i have these um a little more than 75 i think my local database has only 75 articles so how do i uh, let next.js know that these are the 75 valid articles and other urls are not valid so i have a slug so what we would like to do is if we go to our category page okay we used the get static paths which described that you know there are only two path available for this which is slash web and slash travel so similarly i would want that somehow these 75 paths are uh, given to me while the pages are being generated so that the server knows that these are the valid urls and anything else will be treated as a 404 and then the get static props this is where i will take the parameter the slug part of it the dynamic piece of the url which is this and i will query my database so like the last one is totuk the last village of india and its amazing history so i think this is the slug which i will use to query the post instead of the id because you know i could have done 75 but this is not going to help so the slug will be used so let's get started we will obviously need to use the get static paths and get static props so let's first create our get static paths why don't we copy this first get static paths and get static content sorry props copy this here okay and we need paths okay and let's just assume that we will make an ajax call i need to import axios let me do that first okay so await axios get http let me see i don't think we have created the post yet um so this is my server which is running why don't i open up the code base uh, api so we have a category slash tag so we have a url from where we can get the um, posts for a particular tag right now we will need two urls one is where i get all the posts with their slug and the second url will be where i pass the slug and give it gives me back the post okay so it's almost like get all posts and one is get all uh, get post by id so let's just do that first again i think you no know, one thing which you need to understand is because i will be generating all the pages locally and then deploying it so 
you know this really doesn't matter how i write my apis and what are the urls because everything is localhost 8000 right it really doesn't matter because what goes on production will be the html files you know the uh, static files so yeah really no security issue i can you i think you can easily do you know uh, this piece and so our url will be posts okay so on posts what we need to do is return post okay we have already imported the class so post query we don't need to select the entire thing so we can just take the slug and the id sorry okay so this is my url for the post let's quickly check 74 so this is correct and i'm getting the id and the slug which is correct and so in here we will get the slug as query parameter so post query i could have done a route model binding but for now let's just use this and get the data somehow uh so post slash right and this means if i do post slash this the t is missing it will give me the entire data right okay i think we have the basic apis in place and now we can look at the development in here so i have slug and in slug i have this api slash posts it will give me a response let's just say posts equals response dot data okay and now paths will be an empty array okay not like this and then posts dot for each what i can do is paths dot push params slug post dot slug okay so you need to understand that the syntax is we need to push a params property and then whatever is the name of the in a dynamic variable in our case it's slug right so you need to pass that as well otherwise it will fail like if i if i do this as category right it will fail okay so next um i think this doesn't change because we are still passing the paths however the get static props right this is where a little bit of code change will happen um we need to pass return an object so obviously the first thing which we will do is constant slug Okay, if you remember, in here we did params dot params dot category, but in here we will get params dot params dot slug. We have the slug, and then we make another API call response equals await xios dot get. Now I'll use template strings because I need to form a dynamic URL. Okay, so we have. this api call and if things are correct we will get a post from response dot data and we will return two things we will return the slug so props should have slug and although i don't need the slug i think but still let's just keep that and we will confirm that we are getting those two properties so we have the slug and we have post as post or maybe no let's let's keep it like this and then if we come over here i will open up the development toolbar and refresh loads properly all right and we have the slug and the post object as well which means you know like what i can do here is post comma slug okay i can destructure the those two things and instead of the h1 being a hard coded thing i can use post dot title and it should work let's see any other url um travel let's pick this up i know this is there in my database so i'll come over here and <coughs> I think this is working. So we have the basic 
uh, structure in place where we are able to go to a particular URL and it makes the proper API call and gets the data. Okay. And in the next video, let's look at how we can um, parse the you know, markdown data which I have in my database. You know, all the posts, as I told you, you know, the body is basically markdown. So how can we use that? I need to see if I have a, yeah, I think we can open this up so you can understand. See, these are all markup which is being rendered as HTML. So we would see how we can convert the markdown into an HTML output for the page to render.